Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through how to automate the employment process using Microsoft Flow. I have uh, defined a bunch of information to be collected for each new employee. And that is, of course, collected into a SharePoint list. And then we have another list for all the things that needs to be done when a new person is hired. And of course, this list of things to be done when a new person is hired changes all the time because of reorganizations or new policies or new regulation or something. So I don't want to go in and change my flow every time that happens. So instead of put all those settings here in a settings list, so that defines all those things that needs to be done. So when a new person is hired in the position management, they should get a computer, they should get a corporate visa, and they should be assigned a private office. Uh, so those are the tasks. But of course, I can delegate the management of this list to the HR department themselves. Also, now I've decided that I'm going to do all these tasks. But of course, that will change also. So there will be different people. And I can delegate that. I don't have to put the information about who does what into my flow. Using a settings list is, of course, much more manageable in the long run. So let's go in and start with my flow here. I'm going to create a new from blank. And again, click from blank there. And the trigger in my case is going to be the SharePoint trigger when a new item is created. So I'm going to uh, copy the link here to my um, HR site and enter that as a custom value in my site address. And the SharePoint list name is the hiring. So that's the list I want to start. So the I'm going to rename this action also or this trigger, new hire. That's what's happening. And then we're going to get all the to-do items for this when a new person is hired. And that is going to be another SharePoint action. Get items. Scrolling down to get that one. Get items there. And we're going to get the items from the same site. Custom value. And from the SharePoint list hiring settings. And then we're going to go into and show advanced options. And we're going to filter the query. So we're going to get all the items where the field a position in the hiring settings list equals EQ. And then I'm going to start the string with an apostrophe. And then we're going to get the position that the person was hired into from the position value of the new hire trigger up there. All right. And then we're going to end with another apostrophe. So that should give me the three items if I hire a new management person, of course. All right. So let's rename this one also get to do's from settings just be super clear and then we save this and let's name that also new higher assign tasks of course i'm not done with this flow now but i still want to test that i'm getting the right to do items so i'm going to test this now i'll perform the trigger action of course the trigger action is when i hire a new person and I'll go into the hiring list here, click on new, and hire a new person. And the important part here is, of course, that I select a position. I'm going to select management in this case. But that will give me three items uh, to do. All right, so let's jump over to the flow. And in a few seconds, we'll see that my flow ran successfully. And I can click in here and see under show more, it's Position equals management. That's what I did. And the outputs, if I scroll down to that one, I can see that it's getting a JSON representation of the three tasks that I need to deal with. So now, of course, the next step is to assign those tasks. I've gotten the relevant tasks from the settings. Now I'm going to assign them. So that's the new step. And that is going to be an apply to each. And I'm going to deal with the get to do from settings the values, the list of items from there. And on each of those to-do items, I'm going to assign a new task. That's going to be an action, of course. And that's going to be a SharePoint action of creating a new 
item in the SharePoint list, hiring tasks. And so I'm just going to create an item. There we go, in a SharePoint list. Again, it's in the same site. So pasting that in again. And the SharePoint list name I'm going to be working with is the hiring tasks. And that's not visible there. So let's just make sure we get the name properly from the list name. Let's go into the list hiring tasks. That's the one we want to have, of course. So I'll just go ahead and copy that to avoid making any mistakes. Copy the text there and then paste that. List not found. There's a space there also. That should be better. Now, here we go. So the task name is, of course, uh, new hire. And then we can just get the first name and the last name of that person. And um, then we're going to assign this. Get to do from settings, assign to, assigned claims. That's the one we want. And then we can just use the default values for all of these things. Well, actually, let's put the description also. We can like, put that in the task name also, actually, what they're actually supposed to do. So let's see the more there. See more. That's the title of the task. So let's get that in there also with a space. There we go. And then we can just, in the description, you have been assigned the task of. And then we're getting the title from that title. All right, I think we're about done. So let's test this also, only using the um, data from the previous runs. So I'll test that. So now it's applying that, and as you see, it's uh, doing three of those. It created three items, so let's get, go in and see here. We'll refresh, and then we see new hire Calicula computer, new hire Calicula corporate. And the only thing we did wrong, or I did wrong, was the missing space between the first name and the last name. So let's fix that, and then we're done, and we're ready to go. So there's the space we need, and then we save. And we can just test that again using the same data just to make sure that, that everything works. Then we can delete these tasks first. Delete, yes. And when I refresh now, I should have three new with a space. All right, that works great. And let's just check the description of the item also. You've been assigned the task of computer. All right, that's fine. And then we're done. So basically, we're creating tasks based on the settings list. And we have accomplished all of the tasks in the employment process. Thank you for watching this demonstration.